Getting into space is far from a smooth ride. So how do we make sure vibrations don't damage sensitive equipment? Let's find out. Spaceships vibrate as they move in orbit, kind of like driving a car along a bumpy road. In your car, shock absorbers help to make your drive more pleasant. Spaceships have shock absorbers of sorts as well, called isolation systems. So are isolators and isolation systems the same for every spacecraft? Uh, the isolation systems for each spacecraft are, are different. We use many of the same mechanical components and features, but it's unique to each spacecraft's disturbance and, and frequency, uh, resonant frequencies on the spacecraft. In addition, the placement of the sensor or the disturbance source is also important. Compensating for micro vibrations, also known as spacecraft jitter, is very important for satellites that require extremely precise pointing. Satellites that take high resolution photographs of the surface of the Earth or Mars, for example, need to be really stable to make sure the images are sharp. Think about how hard it can be to take photos while zoomed in really far on your phone just from the shaking of your hands from things like your breathing or your heartbeat. Now imagine trying to take a photo from 300 miles away. That's what we're doing with these high resolution satellites where even small vibrations of the spacecraft can translate to huge distances on the ground. So is it really like driving along a bumpy road? No, we're talking about micro vibration here. Uh, displacements on the order of uh, the diameter of a human hair are much smaller. To put that into perspective, uh, from low Earth orbit, uh, just one degree of rotation uh, results in mispointing of several kilometers on the ground, which is why it's important to keep the vibration down. Controlling spacecraft jitter will also be important for future laser communication satellites, which will allow us to send a lot more data back and forth through space than we can today. The pointing and positioning for laser communications to work has to be very accurate. Imagine trying to hit a target thousands of miles away with a laser pointer. That's essentially what we're trying to do in space. I'm Tim Hindle, and I'm a proud space nerd. And that's how isolation systems work to keep your ride as smooth as possible in space. <laughs>